What's up, Gold Squad? Famox here, and welcome to episode 5 of Hut Lottery. Last week we had one winner, he guessed the score correct, and the jackpot was 30k, so he gets a chance to win that for me in a claim game. We couldn't match up in Hut, so we uh, ended up playing Versus, and we're going to get to that game right now. The first period was uneventful, so we're going right to the second. 12 minute mark, we got a chance here, but Howard makes a really crazy save. It doesn't look like much here, but take a look at the replay. We go off the post behind his back, and he catches it with his glove. Uh, pretty funny play. Thought I'd put that in. But time to get the real business. Give it to Downey. Goes across to Como, and that's a one nothing lead. Now he gets a chance. Two on one. Passes across, but Lovejoy comes up with a great block on Advocator. And now trying to hold the blue line in an effort to keep it in. I give it away to Datsuk, and Datsuk just speeds right by. But Flurry shuts him down. Gets the pass up, and then again Flurry. But with just seven seconds left in the period, Scuderi gets stripped. Off to Zetterberg. Zetterberg gets a poke. Datsuk shot off the pad. And there goes Lovejoy putting it into his own net with 1.7 seconds. Take another look. And that makes it a 1 1 game. 7 shots to 8. 450 to 442 on attack. So it's a very even game against Gautamata for this 30k. Going into the third period. First 30 seconds. He'll throw it on net. And it squeaks by Flurry. Right on the line. Martin saves it. Keeps the game tied up at 1. But on the penalty kill, tick, tack, and toe. Puts it in the back of the net. That's a 2-1 lead with 15 minutes to go. But not long after that, Crosby steps up, tanks through his team here, and goes up top shelf to beat Howard to tie it up at 2. And the game looks like it's going to overtime with 30 seconds left. But Crosby, he'll feed Hornquist, doesn't connect. But Hornquist comes up with it behind the net and gets it to Crosby in front. 20 seconds and that is a 3-2 lead and that would be it for the game the 30k goes unclaimed and that means it's going back into the pot for this episode of hut lottery the shots were 18 to 12 he outshot me he out time and attacked me crosby clutched it two goals as the captain and uh that 40 that 30k going back in so this first game of hut lottery is for 40k this video is brought to you by hut puck traders for all your hut puck needs so here's the team for game one, and just as a recap, this game is for 40k, uh, on a, currently on a six game win streak, and the bonus question for this week is who will get the most assists in both games combined? So uh, let's get right into the gameplay. Um, just like the claim game, first period was pretty boring, so we're getting right into the second period. 10 minute mark, Havlitz can beat McDonald, we're 3 on 0, I'll go for the pass, but he's got Flurry in it, comes up with a big toe save there on the splits. Now nearing the end of the period, Broly will pick up the puck. He's on a break. He's going to go backhand Flurry again, stopping it. And that's the end of the period. 10 shots to 9. 5 minutes to 4 minutes. 0-0 um, zero, zero game. Pretty tight. Very defensive game. But we've got a 5-minute power play to start off this third period. We're going to drop the Skinner. He banks it off Flurry's pad. Dubinsky picks it up and puts it in for the first goal of the game. And still on the power play, McKinnon strips McDonald. Here we go. No helmet. In alone, but Flurry again stops him. Not really the nicest move either. Now in the last minute of the period, Frolik, the winner of last week's bonus question, he's going to come in, do a spin around, and ring it right off the crossbar, and that would be costly. As after this fumbles it here, he gets it to Brassard. I'm way too passive on the defensive here, and he snipes it in 49 seconds to tie the game up. And with that goal, it would go into overtime, but overtime solves nothing, so we're headed to the shootout. Brodeur stopped his first shooter, so it's up to Havlat. First shot from me. He's going to go backhand for him. Backhand. Uh, and that's a goal. So we're up in the shootout. 1-0. Now back from his second shooter. He comes in a little slow. It looks like he's going to get it, but Brodeur with a huge poke check to keep it at a 1-0 score here on the shootout. Now my second shooter, Skinner. He's going to try and pull the same exact move as Havlat, but he hits the side of the net, and that's a no-go. Jagger's the last shooter for him. If Brodeur saves it, it's a win, and he does just that. Um, we win the game 2-1 to one in overtime. No one guessed that score, so next game is up to 45k. Uh, we did take over a little bit there, 26 shots to 17. His flurry was the first star, so uh, no pack there for getting all three stars. And let's go check out uh, the assists for the bonus question for this week. And we'll add it up with the assists of game 2 at the end of this episode. So Skinner have you have the only two assists in this game. Um, the buy now is up to 8k searching NHL and it was 
two ones, so we're searching for the third player. One, two, three. And we got Brett Burns, big man to add to the team. There's a lineup. He's in the second line right wing position. That means Huberto gets bumped down to the third and Etem gets bumped down. So let's get into game number two, first period. This game was a little more fast paced. We'll drop it back to have a wind up and he'll just rocket it home. That's an early one nothing lead. Just one minute later, Gleason, nice play at the blue line and he's gonna take off. Separates himself from everyone else, but uh, he misses the net. Now he makes a big costume mistake, a long dump in to the goalie and right to Dubinsky. Brutal giveaway, um, ended up costing him a big goal, but we're up 2-0 going into the second. 14 shots to 5, 4 minutes to 1. Uh, this is a more dominant performance by our team here. Second period, Harmonic feeds to Kara. It's tipped in front, hits the post, his goalie reaches back, but Skinner picks it up first. And that's a 3-0 lead early in the second period. Now his luck will start to get even worse as we put it on net here. Skinner crashes it. And that's a good goal. We'll take another look at that. It counts as going off Boyle's stick as he had it. Skinner gives that little jump and it's a 4-0 lead. Going to third, 18 shots or 19 shots to 8. Um, not much more would happen in this period. We'll have a missed opportunity there. And in the dying seconds, he has a 2-on-1 but it stopped and he did not get a single shot in that third period and there's our division progress almost at the div 9 title 25 shots to 9 10 minutes to 4 minutes now let's check out the assist it's also a shutout so we get a pack for that so let's go check out the assists and add them up all right so we got harmonic dubinsky and sakara so last game the assists were from skinner havlat and uh, they didn't get any of those. So Harmonic with two assists is actually uh, the right answer for the bonus question this week. No one guessed Harmonic, so uh, that 20k is staying with me. But we did have a lottery winner for this game. 4-0 regulation win. I game for charity, guessed it. Just message me on Twitter and we'll get that 45k claim game. I know you're going to be watching. A big supporter of the channel. Um, active subscriber. He's always commenting. So, um, yeah. Good job, message me and we'll get that game going. So as I said, that was a shutout. We're gonna be opening a pack. This is a 17K pack for the team. You can see I'm almost out of coins there. But we got Ryan Callahan. Uh, not that great, but it's okay. Better than some of the packs in the past. He's definitely gonna slot into the to the lineup. Uh, other than that, we got a pretty cool jersey, but I'm sticking with the Kings jerseys and that's about it. Um, yeah, nothing really that good for selling or anything, but Callahan's all right. So. By now, Maximum is up to 9k, and uh, it was 4 nothing. so we're getting that 4th player in the line. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oshi. Alright, TJ Oshi. So here's the final roster. You saw Oshi on the 1st, Burns on the 2nd, Callahan on the 3rd. That means uh, Briere and Huberto got bumped to the 4th. If you notice, Oshi has an Ottawa change team on him. Uh, I was a little late. I, the actual Oshi that I showed you in the... And the auction house expired, so I just went in. I bought another one, and it works out pretty well because he's in Ottawa, and it uh, it lines up with tourists there. So yeah, there's the final lineup. And last week I asked for some suggestions on the series. Some of you said do live commentary. Some of you said keep on doing the exact same. But uh, there is one that I will be taking next week's episode of Hot Lottery will be live streamed. So I'm gonna start streaming again. Um, last year I was streaming. If any of you guys came out to those, but I stopped in 2015. But I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to be streaming Hut Lottery. So, uh, yeah, that'll probably be next Thursday. I'll tweet it. So make sure you follow me on Twitter to go and to know when I'm streaming that. And, uh, yeah, we can watch it live. And you can probably, I'll be let you make your bets live if you haven't made your bets yet. So that should be fun. Other than that, the series will be done the same way as it is. Uh, most of you guys like it as it is. So I'll keep it the same, except it will be live streamed. And then I'll probably voice it over later. And, uh, yeah. So that's about it. That's episode 5 of Hot Lottery. I game for charity. Message me and uh, we'll get you that claim game. Oh, and I want you. I want to know if you guys want, like how I put the claim game in the episode of Hot Lottery or if you want me to actually put the claim game as a separate uh, standalone video. So just let me know that as well. Um, yeah, I'm Famous from Gaming Your Face. I'll see you tomorrow for my player review. Peace out, guys.